Here, Judy, after a long walk through the woods, a cup of coffee in a oh, fireplace. Thank you very much. Should be very good for you. Would you like me to fix you one, too? Now, honey, 59 years of being married to me, you know I don't drink coffee. I'm a Christian. <laughs> hey, folks, welcome to our home here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yes, this is the international headquarters for prophecy today. For now 29 years, Judy and I have been involved in our ministry, Prophecy Today. But well, actually, it's been 20 more years of ministry before we started Prophecy Today. Well, that's absolutely true. See this book? I've been carrying it, this Bible, for almost all those 50 years. And I think uh, you might want to consider getting me a new Bible for Christmas. You know, that'd be a, a <laughs> great a idea. Huh? <laughs> way it's all torn up. But when you open the Word of God and when you start using it all the time, we've been doing that almost weekly for those 29 years. And now we're moving into our 30th anniversary year. We're so excited about the Ministry of Prophecy today. We're on television, we're on radio, radio across the entire nation and around the world on our internet. We have our own internet radio station. That's on our website, prophecytoday.com. We've built that up. We put the daily news, the top 10 news stories every single day right in the center of the home page to help you know some of the current events as reported in the news that may well be setting the stage for Bible prophecy to be fulfilled. That's what Prophecy Today is all about. A banner over the website says, Looking at Current Events in Light of Biblical Prophecy. Hey, honey, as I think about those 29 years, we have probably been in over 50 countries of the world. Now, that would include our ministry, but Jim's ministry, Rick's ministry, and David James's ministry. He's a part of our team as we go out to teach the prophetic word of God and try to encourage everybody to recognize what the prophetic scenario in the word of God is saying to us at the time for the rapture of the church is almost here upon us. In fact, I do believe it could happen at any particular time, including the radio and television. We've reached out. We've used social media, Twitter and Facebook. Can you believe this face is on Facebook? <laughs> anyway, we've had an opportunity to use the social media for the purpose of communicating what we're doing. As we've traveled in those countries, we've held prophecy conferences, We've had teaching sessions where we teach students a book of the Bible, for example, the book of Ezekiel or Daniel or the book of Revelation. Jim and I have both done that. Another thing that we do at Prophecy Today, we take tours to the Middle East and into Europe. Now, this is not just as a business, but as a ministry. I happen to believe, and the boys, Jimmy and Rick, both believe, that the Middle East is the greatest classroom for us teaching Bible prophecy. We go through the entire state of Israel from top to bottom. We take a little trip over to Petra to see this most unique city, one of the seven wonders of the world, then over to Turkey to visit the seven churches of Asia Minor. And we conclude that tour over in Rome, Italy. That's going to be the next most prophetic city as it relates to the scenario for end-time prophecy, which is foretold in the Word of God. Rome, Italy is going to be that last stop where the European Union will come together, the false church will be located, the Antichrist will be headquartered. Well, I'm starting to teach, and that's what we do. We're set to teach at any moment, have somebody in front of us, have an audience. That's what we're going to be doing, and that's what we've been doing for the last 29 years. Now, as we move into our 30th year anniversary, we're not going to step back from that at all. We're going to continue to teach in local churches. We'll be doing conferences, Bible conferences, big conferences that bring a group of teachers in. And I'll be there, Rick will be there, Jim will be there, or David James will be there to teach the prophetic Word of God. Now, if you've been listening to what I said about the past and the present, well, what about the future? You need to help us as we're doing this. First thing I want to ask you to do, and Judy, you and I have our prayer time together. We discuss our devotions together as we're traveling from city to city. But I think it's key for you, dear friend, to pray for us. We would encourage you so much to lift Judy and myself in prayer. 
Can I give you a little simple reminder that will help you to know when to pray for us? If you hear something about Jerusalem or the Jew, the Jerusalem or the Jew, J.J., remember J.J., Judy and Jimmy. And we'd love to have you pray for us. It'll be a great blessing to our ministry. But you do know it does take money. Not only prayer, and that prayer support is so essential for our ministry, but we need financial support as well. We can't not do this without the financial help from many of the friends like you who are watching this right now from our home here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We see that as we go into our 30th year, it would be very, very important if we could have about $50,000 now, that's the goal that we have set as we move into our 30th year anniversary. This next year should be the very best we have ever done as we reach people with the message of the soon coming of Jesus Christ for the rapture of the church. Not the second coming, but the rapture of the church, the next event, which could happen at any moment. Our goal of $50,000 will take us into this 30th year anniversary debt free and will be able to get involved in busily being at the task of teaching the Word of God, of getting the information as to many people as we possibly can through radio, through television, uh, through social media. I know at the end of the year, many of us, Judy and I, and you too, I would guess, kind of pray through and consider who you're going to give end of the year giving to. Well, we would love for you to at least put us on your list and prayerfully consider helping us with some type, any amount would be so greatly appreciated of end of the year giving. Let me tell you how you can do that. If you would like to, you can go to my website, prophecytoday.com. There at prophecytoday.com, you can go prophecytoday.com forward slash partners if you would consider helping us financially as we move into our 30th year anniversary, on this screen at the end of this video, you're going to follow the instructions that's there and it will help you to then know how to give to us. I want to thank you in advance for what you're going to do. Oh, by the way, let me remind you that the rapture of the church could happen at any moment. Having said that, nothing left for me to say. Except let's keep looking up until. No, wait a minute, honey. There's probably one more thing we should say to everybody that's been watching. Would you agree? I agree. Together, let's say it. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.